Numbers 13. Look at verse 6. And I, I'm going to just kind of skim through it. I'll, I'll go back over it Sunday when we pick back up. But I'm going to just skim through it now. Look at verse 6. Of the tribe of Judah, who? Caleb. Caleb, the son of Jeph Jephunneh. Now, just remember that. Drop down to verse 16. Now, notice now that there's going to be, this is the time where Moses is going to send spies into this land. Okay? Watch how the writer of Hebrews talks about this and how it all comes, all comes together. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Now, so look at verse 16. They're, these are the names of the men that which Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Oshea, the son of Nun, Jehoshua. Who is that? Joshua. That's Joshua now. What's special about Caleb and Joshua as it pertains to the land? They were the ones that made it in. They were the ones that made it in. Now, we saw in verse 11 of Hebrews 3 that God is going to, he swear in his wrath that some of them are not going to be able to make it in the rest. Right? Watch what Caleb and Joshua represents as we tie this all in. Now, look at verse 17. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said unto them, Get you up this way southward and go up unto the mountain and see the land, what it is, and the people that dwelleth therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many. Now notice this is the promised land that God had promised them. The land is, all, is also associated with this kingdom because that was their promise. Their promise was not to go to heaven. That was never their promise, okay? That's our promise today. But their promise was always land and a kingdom. Okay, watch this now. Uh, verse 18, verse uh, 19. And what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities they be in that they dwell in, whether it's tents or in strongholds, what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, and uh, all those things. Drop down to verse... Look at verse 24. Uh, look at, go to verse 20. And what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether there be wood there and or not, and be ye of good courage and bring the fruit of the what? Land. Now the time was the time of the what? First, 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 ripe, first ripe, ripe grapes, right? Now, Moses is instructing them to go in and do what with the land? Wow. To see wow. it. Mm -hmm. To see it. We today don't walk by sight, but we walk by Faith. faith. Most people are still trying to see the manifestation of God. Even with the Holy Spirit that we receive and that's shared abroad and given to us. We don't see it, but we see the manifestations of it. Okay? We're not looking for things to say there is a God. But we believe God at his word. Amen. See? Amen. Now, that is what faith is. Now, watch this now. As they begin to go in the wilderness, you're going to eat. And there's two things that God either looks at. And it's what? Believe and unbelief. You either believe it or you don't. Mm -hmm. So when these people go in, Moses is telling them to go see it. But they see it, but they don't believe God's word after they've seen it. Mm -hmm. You see that? That's right. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 24, Numbers 13. The place was called the Brook of Eshcol because of the cluster of grapes with the children of Israel cut down from what? Yeah. And they returned from searching of the land after how many days? Forty days. Forty days, and they brought back evidence. Forty is the number of testing and trial, tribulation in, in Scripture, right? Forty days, right? And they brought back these big grapes. Mm. Now look at verse 26. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of uh, Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto the, all the congregation to show them the fruit of the land. And they told them and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Mm. It was beautiful. Mm. Nevertheless, it was beautiful, but nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Now, the children of Anak were sons of giants. Okay? Look at verse 29. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites and the Jebusites and Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses. Now, watch this now. It says he stilled the people. 
That's just like everybody. All oh, it was, it was flowing. Mick and honey was all good, you know. But they had these people there, and then blah blah blah. And Caleb like, hold on, hold on, forget that. Yeah, hold, hold on now, hold on. He stealed the people and said, "Let us go up at what? Once. At once and possess it. And possess it, for we are well able to overcome it." Now notice that, now did Caleb think that they were going to just go in there without God and overcome it? No, he believed that God would lead them. Notice it says he was what? Well able to overcome it. Look at verse 31. But, but the men that went up with them said, we be not what? Able. Now Caleb says they're well able. So there's one that believes in God and then there's the others that don't. You see that? See, they, they, they saw it. They didn't believe it, though. Mm. See, that's why it's not, that, that's why uh, uh, the law is not a faith, Paul says. Uh, anybody can keep the law. They can't keep it perfectly, but it's, you don't have to have faith to keep the law. Mm. See, you don't have to have faith to believe. You don't have to believe God's word in order to not steal. You don't have to believe God, and you don't have to believe in a God to know that, to not do that. It way. does not require faith. Notice this now. We not be able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Mm. And they brought up an evil report, an evil report of the land. Now, they just said it was full with milk and honey, it had grapes, and, but they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is, is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. Mm -hmm. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as what? Hopper, grasshopper. As grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Mm -hmm. Now, go to Numbers 14. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 22. Mm -hmm. See, God always wanted to deal with man based on the faith in his word. Whatever I said, my voice, have faith in what I've said. Look at verse 22, Numbers 14. Because all those men which have seen my what? Glory. These same men have seen what I've done. Mm. They've seen my glory and my miracles which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness and have tempted me now these ten times and have not listened to my voice. Jesus. Mm. See, how they my Lord. see that? After, 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 the, after the Egypt experience, I'm sold. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> See, but understand that, that, that when you don't believe God at his word, it brings you to the point of unbelief. And look how, look up, look, at, when I just read that we all, but how can they, do? the same way people don't believe God's word today. The same way today. You either believe it or you don't. You believe what, that's why when you get to, uh, uh, I was, I was uh, uh, somebody uh, let me listen to this atheist guy. He was on TV talking to a, some kind of Christian lady who was supposed to be some kind of uh, uh, apostle or whatever she was. She was teaching him, and he said, uh, he said, you're not, you're not a Christian. He said, I, I don't, he said, I don't believe the Bible, but I know that Christianity started with Paul, an atheist now. Mm. He said Christianity didn't start when you think it started. It started with Paul. And he said if you don't believe that Christ died to pay for your sins, you're not going to heaven. And atheists was telling this lady this. And most Christians don't understand that Christianity started with Paul. What does that say about the God of now, now, well, but now, now, understanding, but he doesn't believe. He doesn't he, believe. He See, and, and my point is, if you take the average, if you take the regular person and tell them to read the words on the page, whether they believe it or not, they'll understand what it says. You could, you, he says what he because he just reads it. That he might be reading to disapprove and don't believe it, mm. but if you just read the words on the page, it'll tell you. But most people allegorize the scripture and they say, well, God didn't really mean that. He, no, he meant just what he said. Amen. And if you just believe the words of the page, even this atheist guy, now he don't believe it, but he's telling this Christian who's supposed to know it that don't know it. Right. Jesus. He just don't. The devil believes. The devil uh, 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 believes in the Lord and tremble. The devil, uh, uh, even, the demons even, demon, even the demons believe in tremble, but they just don't trust the word of God. Mm -hmm. They don't have faith in it. Right? Look at verse 22. 
23, surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers, neither shall any of them that provoke me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, notice this now, he had another spirit with him and had followed me what? Fully. Him will I bring into the land where until he went, and his seed shall do what? Possess. Now the Amalekites and the Canaanites dwelt in the valley. Tomorrow turn you and get you into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation which murmur against me? When did they murmur against God? In the wilderness. No, after they had come out. But who did they murmur to? Moses. 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 Yeah. So when people go against Paul today, you're grieving God. Right. Mm. Directly to God. Directly. Right. Because God is saying, Moses and Aaron, how long shall they murmur against me? They weren't speaking to God. They were murmuring to Moses. My Lord. That's deep. That's like the Acts 5. They say you have not lied unto men. You lied unto the Holy Ghost. You see that? So understand this now. Look at uh, uh, 27. How I have heard the murmurs of the children of Israel, which they murmur against me. Say unto them, as truly as I live, said the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness. And all that, that they were numbered of you, according to your whole number, from 20 years old and upward, which have murmured against me. Back then, 20 years old was the age of accountability. Mm. It says 20 years and up. Mm. Because at that time, you should have known better. Uh -huh. verse, verse 30. Doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein, save Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Now, I'm gonna, remember these two. Now, I'm going to uh, tie, that, tie that in real quick. After this, look at verse 31. But your little ones, which ye said should be a prey, then will I bring in, and they shall know the land which ye have despised. Mm. So all of those under 20, God was going to bring them in. Jesus. Because they were saying that even our little ones that are out here, they're going to be praying all of this. No, they're not. See, because when you believe God and you trust his word, he's going to take care of you. Amen. Look at verse 32. But as far as you, your carcasses, they shall fall in this wilderness. And your children shall wander in the wilderness 40 years and bear your whoredoms until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. Mm, Jesus. Now, you don't think God was angry? He was promising that. Huh? He was promising all that. Yes. After the number of the days in which ye searched the land, even 40 days, each day for a year, shall ye bear your iniquities. <laughs> Look what he's saying. Even 40 years, and ye shall know my breach of what? Promise. They broke the promise. Now, now listen, now he says for every day that you search the land, that's going to be a year unto you. And they searched it for 40 days. I was going to say it almost seems like it would be unfair for the people when the covenant, when that program resumes and ages to come to suffer that wrath. But being that he hit the pause button, that's that same wrath. Mm -hmm. And also when you think about third and fourth generations, yeah. that, that's them. That's them. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Look at uh, verse 35. I, the Lord, have said, I will surely do it until all this evil congregation that, that are gathered together against me in this wilderness shall be consumed. They shall be consumed and they shall what? Die. And the men which Moses sent to search the land who returned and made all the congregation to murmur against them by bringing up a slander upon the land. Even those men that did bring up the evil report upon the land died by the plague before the Lord. Jesus. Verse 38, but, but Joshua and the, the, the son of Nun and Caleb, the son of Jep, Jephunneh, which were of the men that went to search the land, lived still. Oh, and Moses told these sayings unto all the children of Israel, and the people mourned what? Greatly. Now notice now, did Moses make it into the promised land? No, he didn't. Moses didn't make it. You want to know what? See, Moses is the type of the law. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Moses is the type of the law. Christ is that prophet who trumps the law. The law and the prophets were until John. Right. Until that time, the kingdom of heaven is preached, every man present there into it. Paul even says in Galatians, the law was a schoolmaster to bring them unto Christ. But notice that Joshua's name means Jehovah Savior. Mm. His name in the Hebrew, Jesus' name in the Hebrew is spelled Joshua. See, Joshua's name means Jehovah's Savior. Who took them into the land of Canaan? 
Joshua took them in. Moses couldn't take them in. See, he's the type of the Lord Jesus Christ, and when he'll bring them into their rest. You see that? Now, Caleb signifies the little flock or the believing remnant in Israel. See, because he understood and believed God's word and said, we were well able to take it. So he's the type of the little flock, which is why him and Joshua were the only two to make it in. They were the only two to make it in. There you go. Right? But I go. can't understand now why Moses, who represented the law, did not make it into that promise. Be now, the promised land is that land. Now, now, there. now, now he didn't make it in the promised land here, but he will be in, in okay. the kingdom. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I want to make sure that yeah. he, he didn't make it over here, he got to make it over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll make it in. He just didn't make it into the promised land at that time. time. Just okay. like, for instance, uh, David. Uh, David wanted to build the Lord a house, mm -hmm. but God, God says, you won't build me a house, but your son will. You see that? So not to say David didn't make it in, it's just to say that at that time, he couldn't do it. Because remember, Moses smote the rock, right? And God was angry at, 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 angry at him for that, right? And so, so, yeah, so that's why. Look at Hebrews 3, and we'll, we'll finish here. So he's telling them in Hebrews 3.15, listen, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. Because remember now in the provocation when, and when he sent them out, they didn't believe. They were in unbelief. God changed a whole program because of unbelief. Jesus. Romans 11 and 11, it says that, listen, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. Because of their unbelief. Salvation is now coming to the Gentiles. Thank you, Jesus. The depth of that is unreal. Ooh, he, he literally hit the pause button on his calendar. Because of unbelief. Jesus. Was I'm saying? Because of unbelief. Unbelief. Right? So, and, and most people, you know, in a religious church, most people always focus on the devil. Oh, girl, no, the devil busy today. The devil is busy. Forget the devil. Why are we focus on him when all we got to do is believe and trust God's Amen. word? Amen. You're focused on you're focused on the problem, which is Satan, as opposed to the solution, which is Christ. Amen. You see that pe all, people in religious church, that's all they talk about is the devil. The devil is the devil. That's all they talk about. When you understand God's word, I don't talk about the devil. All you hear me talk about is the goodness of this word. Amen. Not to say that he's not busy, but what I'm saying is that I have more faith in Christ than the devil and what he's doing. That's right. right. That's you see right. that? Right. And Pastor, you know that go back to them not believing. Because they could believe that Satan in the beginning, they could believe that there was nothing that they did to, yeah. you know, but yeah, they can't I was believe. just thinking that. They yeah. accept automatically they that they were born, that they were born in sin. Yeah. sin yeah. But they can't accept. And that's what I always ask them. Yeah. Are you born a sinner? Yeah. They, everybody always says, yeah, he's born a sin, shaking yeah. iniquity. Yeah. And I always ask, why do you accept that? You didn't do anything. Why do you just accept that? Oh, the Bible says it. Well, the Bible also says you don't have to do anything to receive God's grace. Why don't you believe that? You see that? Christ's work was greater than Moses. I mean, greater than Adam, right? Because Adam sinned. But the second Adam is greater than the first. So if you can believe that the first Adam caused you to be born in sin, why can't you believe that the second Adam causes you to be righteous? Jesus. Without your doing. Right. And he says made. Huh? He says, he says made them righteous. Made them righteous. Look at verse 16 in Hebrews 3. For some, when they had heard, did what? Provoke. How be it not all that came out of Egypt by what? Moses. So not all of them died because we know that what? Two. Two, Two of them, Caleb and Joshua, went into the promised land. Amen. Now if you read this particular passage in the NIV of one of these other Bibles, it says that they all died in the wilderness. Jesus. It says they all died. Mm. Look, at, look it up in an NIV or uh, whatever, one of those other perversions of the Bible. Notice that this says, how be it not what? Not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. Mm. Not all of them provoked God to anger. Because you just answered that question there you go. before when you said those two, but not only those two, now, yeah. not according to what even, those even, those even those the children, the children, children right? Survive. That's yeah. right. You're right. And that's You're what right. you just said. Yeah. You just said yeah. not all, but we always yeah. thought 
They, they all they perished are. in their yeah. sins, yeah. uh, yeah. except that's for what, two. That's what we were taught. Yeah, that's, that's right. what you've been taught. We were exactly. Taught. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And we believe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. And that's why there's no substitute, even when I'm teaching, there's no substitute for reading the Word of God. I'm no, even though I take you to these scriptures, there's no substitute for just reading it yourself. That's why I like to take you to it so you Amen. can read it. Amen. Because there's no substitute for reading. That last thing, but that wasn't the real thing that got me, was when you told us about him already knowing who was going to betray him. Betray him. Betray him. Yeah. And you said that he walked with the devil already. <laughs> <even knew laughs> But that I didn't even think that he I knew he knew yeah. because he was, but he had already told him. Yeah. yeah. Long before. Like yeah. Long before. He, he seen the the ending. Well, the, the beginning from the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. The so ending from the beginning. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you got to keep that in mind. And and, and understand and, and that is another uh, 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 credit to his deity. He That's is God. That's right. He is God. You know, so. Oh, no. And he's able That's to. Right. God is the only one that can look upon the heart. Mm -hmm. God is the only one that can forgive sin. Mm -hmm. Jesus yeah. was able to do all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus. It's, 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 you see that? It's, it's so much of that, that little verse that you ain't catch that I was mm -hmm. like catching like he already knew that yeah. his yeah. job was going to be on the cross if he right. knew that he was already going to uh, yeah. betray him. Mm -hmm. And not only that. How many did he turn away? How many people turned away from yeah. him when they yeah. said that uh, he told them the road was going to be hard? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And, they and, and, and a lot of what he, Christ said was hard, but they, you remember they, they, in John said it said it was hard for them to hear. It was hard saying, mm -hmm. right? It was a hard saying. They couldn't hear it. But uh, but look at this Hebrews 3, 17. But with, who, but with whom was he grieved 40 years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? Mm -hmm. That's who he was angry with. Mm -hmm. And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not? Mm -hmm. Listen, so we, verse 19, so we see that they could not enter in because of what? Unbelief. Unbelief. Jesus. Man, that's, that's yeah. Not that they were so, not that they were so bad, wow. not that they were this, not because of unbelief. Jesus. Okay? And we'll get, next week, uh, well, Sunday, we'll get into that rest. Mm -hmm. And that unbelief was that Jesus Christ was the Messiah. And they that, and that, yeah. At that time, yeah. That, um, this unbelief uh -huh. is that uh -huh. he was the Messiah. Yeah. They didn't believe that. Yeah, and that's what they were to repent of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why Peter said in Acts 2, 38. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, any other questions, comments? That was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, 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 it ties all together, man. It's exciting when, it when we get to it and get into it. Uh, nothing else I pray. Let's continue to pray for all those people that I named earlier as well. Uh, all those who are sick, pray for the families and the strength. Uh, uh, pray for me also uh, as I continue to labor in word and truth. Uh, and I, give me the strength that I, I'm able to have able to go see all of these people and do these things that I need to do. Uh, Father God, we thank you now for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for truth. We thank you for light. We thank you for illumination of your word. Father God, there's nothing like reading and studying your word. Father God, we thank you for the ability in this country that we're able to read your word, that we're able to meet, but some people can't do it, oh God. Some people uh, some people can't own a Bible, oh God, but we thank you for the completion of your word, that we're able to study your word. We thank you for this ministry, for this fellowship. We thank you for those, all that follow uh, this ministry, God, we thank you for those who bless the ministry by way of, 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 of currency, by money, or uh, either by time and, yes. and support. We thank you right now. We thank you for the spreading, the, the, the for technology, that we're able to get the word out uh, all, to all of the world, so all the world can hear, oh God. We thank you right now. We ask that the word be received with openness and readiness of mind, that they search the scriptures daily to see what these things be so. Father God, we ask for that that you just continue to uh, uh, increase our faith as we yes. study the word of God. Yes. We know that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Thank you, so we thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray for those who are sick. Uh, give them strength, oh God. May your grace comfort them. May your grace give, may your grace comfort them in their time of need, Father God. For when they're weak, when we're weak, that's when, we, that's when you are strong. So we yes. thank you for that right now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.